Welcome back to my channel of the uh, project of the XJ8 being restored. Anyway, on today's episode, we're going to whip the back bumper off and see what we're dealing with. <coughs> I know it needs a bit of welding, but let's go along and I'll show you how to get it off. First of all, you're going to need a 19mm extension socket, extension bar, to get this job done. Anyway, guys, let's crack on and whip this bumper off. Well that's the bumper off thing guys. Bit of a in this car last or in the past. We've done something and bodged it putting it on. I'm gonna I'll show you in a second. See this? Had a wing nut on it. And the brackets, a long shot. So I'm gonna have to saw some new ones. Uh, I'm not sure if the bumper's salvageable. I mean it's got more holes than Swiss cheese. But we'll do that one when we come to it. But anyway guys, <laughs> talk some getting off. Well, as you can see, there's a lot. And if you go have a look inside, it's a drainage. Drainage there, and where the area is. Right. Side. Seems to be a popular place for tin worm. But to be fair, I'm going to try a little bit of a fabricate a bit of angle or something, weld that in. Now obviously the thing I've got to be careful of, around the back of here, that's where the petal tank is. And it's not got a lot of petrol in it, but it's not really the petrol that's in it that causes a problem, it's the fumes and yeah, whole petrol tank. Hmm, pretty close. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do there, get wrap that up in a fire blanket, take anything flammable away like this foam, stuff like that, get that out of the way. Uh, probably just wrap up a fire blanket and always have a fire extinguisher handy just in case. Anyway guys, yeah, so she is. Well, <clears throat> I have seen some of these on the internet. Uh, yeah, the, the, around the back here, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the bolts are pretty rusty. So I can see that's going to be a bit of an adventure getting that one off. Uh, well, that's the job for today done then guys. And it was a board ache. I thought it would be as easy as the same as I did when I took the front one off, but how wrong was I? I've got to get these off because they're tatty. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to work from the back. Um, yeah, from back to front. 
as you can see. I mean, this this clearly has had a been reversed into something in the past. So that'll be the next job. I'm going to see about cutting that out, tidying that up a bit. So yeah, get a donor car, cut that out, get it all fitting nice because that that just looks terrible. But yeah. <laughs> look at the state of them look. clearly been like that for a while same as the other side complete snapped they're still stuck in stuck in the bumper as I say I don't know what we'll be doing with this yet don't know if it's salvageable or not but anyway that's the job for today done <coughs> now, I'm not sure if there was any brackets holding that on so I don't know if I have to fabricate some brackets. It'd be interesting to have a look at another, another jag. Um, because obviously it weren't tied up with cable ties like this one was. But anyway, guys, that will do for this one. This is a bump off. Let's go and check out the rich and famous. I had a love and passion for these cars. Well, let's start off from the top then. Uh, obviously, we've got to mention Queen Elizabeth II. She's always had a passion for Jaguars. Uh, she's had multiple Jags over the years as well as Land Rovers and well, the vast selection of vehicles she has. And then the next one down along the line, uh, obviously we've got to mention the Prime Minister. Now he's often been, um, well, all Prime Ministers have been tra transported around in the XJ Jaguars. Um, and then of course then we have old Arthur Daly from Minder. He's always had a thing for Jaguars and Daimlers for all this series of Minder. And of course, my very favourite, uh, which probably got me in a passion as a small kid, uh, the equaliser with Edward Woodward. Uh, that was a beautiful car, and I think that's what first got me into the Jaguars. So anyway, guys, that's a little snippet of the similar rich and famous um, who's had a passion for these Jaguars. So that will do me for the part two then, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, add a few comments if you like. Uh, if you're doing a similar kind of project, let me know. But anyway, yeah, that's part two then guys. Follow me along for part three. I'm going to cut out the tin worm and prep it up for welding. Alright guys, that'll do for today and I'll see you later. Ta-da!